Good morning. Okay. Backyard tour. Come on. Backyard tour of my uh, garden area. In here, I've got peppers. There's only two in here. These two right here. This one and this one here that were a start spot at the um, at Lowe's. I've got some bell peppers, uh, some jalapenos, some poblanos. This is my okra. Everything was started from seed. This is my potatoes. Um, I don't know that much about it. This is like my first year. I don't know if, if that's like blight. And then over here. I don't know exactly what's going on with them. Oh, these ones, this one's flowering. Over here I've got silver slicer cucumbers. My nasturtium. These are my tomatoes. They've all been planted from seed. You can see in there, I got a bunch of tomatoes in there. Got some more growing right there. Um, I kept saying I was gonna come out here and do the Florida weave, and I never got around to doing it. So here's, what this is the Paul Robeson tomatoes. So I uh, just threw a stake in there to try and keep them all up. And then plant some bare root strawberries. Only had two come up. These are just rogue onions. <laughs> I wanted to plant strawberries in this whole thing, but I could I I think it was too late for seeds. I never got around. I could never find any starts at the garden store, so no strawberries for me. And then here we got some more tomatoes, but I'm like why is it curling like this? Wait, wait, where is it? Like that. There's that. And the leaves are starting to go like this. Is that blight? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. This is only the first year I've ever grown anything. Everything's new. And that's an nasturtium down here. And this is scarlet runner beans. The flowers are so pretty. And um, obviously I know this structure is not tall enough but that's all I had that's my black seed Simpson lettuce that has like totally taken over down here I got some chard and if I hadn't mentioned I'll mention now I am in north central Texas I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area I am in Fort Worth on the cusp of Saginaw this is my potatoes I planted in the bed and they were like really good real bushy really green and now they're all getting I pulled one out they're all getting like this I'm like is this the tomato is this blight I don't know something's eating them there's a dragonfly or whatever kind of dragonfly ish thing that is something's eating them I don't know something's eating them and they've got some disease going on this is my eggplant these four plants right here and then these little plants are just mystery peppers because I lost the tags this right here this is a sweet potato that sat on my counter for too long so I grown so I whacked it in again this is my lettuce I just keep cutting it down and eating it but it's out of control and where's my little switch? And my mushrooms. Ink cat mushrooms. I don't know if that's any good to have. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's my Swiss chard. Look at the Swiss chards. And what's one over here? I guess. Oh, there it is. Where'd it go? Where are you, little Swiss chard? There he is, right there. Okay. This bed right here, this whole bed. I've been following um, Hugh Richards' uh, Veg in One Bed deal, but I'm beginning to understand that he's in England 
and probably not the best thing for me to be following here in uh, Texas with the heat. Anyway, this is my yellow squash. This yellow squash, who somebody wants to eat. But he's still growing, so that's good. Sorry about my finger. This is just my zucchini, and it's looking pretty rough. I'm trying, I've got, if you look, you can see, I've got tin foil at the bottom because last fall I tried to grow zucchini and pumpkins and I had squash vine borers. It was horrific. These are my onions. Look at all these onions, this is so cool. Look at that. I'm bulbing up. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting more dirt over them when they bulb up, but look at all of those onions in there. And then this was the leftover ones. I just whacked them in a pot and said, hey, you want to grow? Grow. If you don't want to grow, don't. And this is my lemon. My Meyer lemon tree. It's got some blossoms. And these are my extra tomato plants. I just put them in pot which I'm pretty sure is not enough room for them to grow. But, yeah. I do have a tomato growing here. Do you see that? Paul Robeson, I've got some, I think this is my cherry tomato plant. And if you look in there, you can see. Oh, sorry, spider. Some growing in there. Oh, I got one growing right there. This is a mystery tomato. It doesn't have a... And I think I got, it's only in my shoe. I have some tomatoes going right there. Let's see if I, the thing is, I, some tags are on here, but the, I think this might be a cherry tomato plant, but they, the some bleached it, so I don't know what they are. Yeah, so anyway, there's all the tomatoes. This is my, Echinacea that came back from last year. My echinacea came back from last year. So this is what it looks like. And that's my dog. This is what it looks like. That's my garden. And my yard is north facing. So, I mean, it gets a decent amount of sun. I don't know. And then over here, Oh, little bee. Hello, little bee. I will try not to step on you. Over here, well, we planted along here some wildflowers. Hopefully they'll grow. I don't know. It's awfully small area. This area right here, I'd like to get a shed built eventually. But we'll see. Where's that bee? I don't want to step on it. All right. And that's what we got in here, is where I keep my straw. Straw. And then, that's it. One more last look at what the garden looks like. Um, wide view. And that's it. Thank you for, oh, let me see. Okay, the things I forgot to say, I am in Fort Worth, Texas, on the cusp of Saginaw, um, zone 8A. This is my first spring garden. I tried to, to grow a few fall things last year. I didn't have any of these beds in the fall. I tried to grow it in um, pots. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'm hoping to upload more stuff and oh today is may 21st 2023 thank you for watching my garden tour have a good weekend bye